Lucifer, often referred to as the Light Bearer or Morning Star, is a complex and multifaceted figure deeply rooted in religious, mythological and literary traditions. The etymology of the term Lucifer traces back to Latin where it literally means Light Bringer or Light Bearer. This title is commonly associated with the planet Venus when it appears in the East before sunrise. However, the connotations of Lucifer have evolved over millennia, encompassing a wide array of symbolic meanings. This comprehensive exploration aims to dissect the origins, interpretations and cultural significances of Lucifer across different belief systems and literary works. By delving into ancient mythologies, religious texts, philosophical treatises and literary masterpieces, this study seeks to unravel the intricate layers of meaning attributed to Lucifer, shedding light on humanity's perpetual fascination with this enigmatic figure. The methodology employed in this research involves an interdisciplinary approach, drawing upon insights from religious studies, mythology, literature, philosophy, psychology and cultural studies. Through textual analysis, comparative examination and critical interpretation. This study endeavors to provide a nuanced understanding of Lucifer and his significance within various cultural contexts. The term Lucifer originates from the Latin word Lucifer, composed of lux, light, and ferre, to bear or carry. In classical Latin, Lucifer referred to the planet Venus when it appears in the sky before dawn, heralding the arrival of daylight. Over time, the term acquired metaphorical and theological connotations, becoming associated with divine or celestial beings. The archetype of the Lightbringer is prevalent in numerous ancient mythologies and cosmogonies. In Mesopotamian mythology, the god Marduk is depicted as the bringer of light and civilization, symbolizing order triumphing over chaos. Similarly, the Egyptian deity Horus embodies the solar principle, bringing light and life to the world. These mythological motifs laid the groundwork for later interpretations of Lucifer as a celestial being associated with illumination and enlightenment. Within Judeo-Christian tradition, Lucifer is primarily known as a fallen angel who rebelled against God and was cast out of heaven. The origins of Lucifer as a distinct figure can be traced to various biblical passages, notably Isaiah 14, 12, 15 and Ezekiel 28, 12, 17. In Isaiah, the prophet employs the metaphor of the morning star falling from heaven to depict the downfall of the Babylonian king, while in Ezekiel, the lamentation over the king of Tyre includes imagery traditionally associated with the fall of Lucifer. In Islamic tradition, the figure commonly associated with Lucifer is Iblis, a jinn who refused to bow to Adam and was consequently expelled from paradise. While Iblis shares similarities with Lucifer in terms of rebellion and defiance, Islamic eschatology portrays him as a tempter rather than a light bringer. Nevertheless, the archetype of the fallen being challenging divine authority resonates across Judeo-Christian and Islamic narratives. The portrayal of Lucifer in the Hebrew Bible is somewhat ambiguous, with the term Lucifer not explicitly used to refer to a fallen angel. However, scholars have interpreted passages such as Isaiah 14, 12, 15 and Ezekiel 28, 12, 17 as alluding to the fall of a celestial being due to pride and rebellion. In Isaiah, the boastful proclamation of the king of Babylon is likened to the arrogance of the morning star, while in Ezekiel, the lamentation over the king of Tyre incorporates imagery suggestive of an angelic downfall. Within Christian theology, Lucifer is often identified with Satan, the adversary of God and the tempter of humanity. The association between Lucifer and Satan crystallized during the early Christian centuries as theologians and church fathers interpreted biblical passages allegorically. 
Lucifer came to symbolize the epitome of pride, rebellion, and spiritual corruption, embodying the antithesis of divine goodness and righteousness. The characterization of Lucifer as a fallen angel is further elaborated upon in various apocryphal and pseudepigraphic texts. The Book of Enoch, a prominent example of Jewish apocalyptic literature, expands upon the narrative of fallen angels who descended to earth and corrupted humanity. Similarly, the life of Adam and Eve portrays Lucifer as a cunning adversary who tempts Adam and Eve to disobey God, resulting in their expulsion from paradise. Medieval Christian theologians, such as St. Augustine and St. Thomas Aquinas, played a pivotal role in shaping the doctrine of Lucifer and his significance within the cosmic order. Augustine, in his seminal work, The City of God, elaborated on the concept of the two cities, the city of God and the city of man, and the eternal conflict between good and evil. Aquinas, drawing upon Aristotelian philosophy, articulated a hierarchical cosmology that situated Lucifer and the fallen angels within the celestial hierarchy. Lucifer in the Quran. While the Quran does not mention Lucifer by name, Islamic tradition identifies Iblis as the figure who refused to prostrate before Adam out of pride and jealousy. In Surah Al-Araf, the heights, Iblis is depicted as challenging God's command and arrogantly declaring his superiority over humanity. Despite being cast out of paradise, Iblis retains his capacity for deception and continues to tempt human beings away from the path of righteousness. Lucifer in Islamic Eschatology Islamic eschatology envisions a final confrontation between good and evil, culminating in the Day of Judgment. According to Islamic tradition, Iblis will play a central role in leading astray those who reject faith and succumb to worldly desires. However, his ultimate defeat is preordained, as God's justice will prevail and the righteous will be rewarded with eternal paradise. Lucifer in Islamic Mysticism, Sufism In Sufi literature and mysticism, the story of Iblis serves as a metaphorical exploration of the human ego and its propensity for arrogance and self-deception. Sufi poets and philosophers often depict Iblis as a symbol of the nafs, ego, that obstructs the seeker's journey towards spiritual enlightenment. Through spiritual purification and inner struggle, jihad al-nafs, Sufis seek to overcome the influence of the lower self and attain union with the divine. Lucifer in literature and philosophy, Lucifer in Dante's Inferno, Dante Alighieri's epic poem, The Divine Comedy, particularly The Inferno, features Lucifer as the ultimate embodiment of evil and chaos. Trapped in the lowest circle of hell, Lucifer is depicted as a grotesque and monstrous figure with three faces, symbolizing his perversion of the Holy Trinity. His eternal punishment serves as a grim reminder of the consequences of rebellion against divine authority. Lucifer in Milton's Paradise Lost, John Milton's epic poem Paradise Lost, offers a nuanced portrayal of Lucifer, depicting him as a tragic figure torn between pride and remorse. Milton's Lucifer is a charismatic and articulate rebel who justifies his defiance on the grounds of individual freedom and self-determination. Despite his grandiose aspirations, Lucifer's rebellion ultimately leads to his downfall, highlighting the perils of hubris and disobedience. Lucifer in Romantic Literature the Romantic period witnessed a resurgence of interest in Lucifer as a symbol of rebellion and intellectual freedom. Poets and writers such as William Blake, Percy Bysshe Shelley and Lord Byron explored themes of rebellion, defiance and the pursuit of enlightenment in their works. Blake's The Marriage of Heaven and Hell and Shelley's Prometheus Unbound are notable examples of Romantic literature that reimagined Lucifer as a heroic figure challenging oppressive authority. 
Lucifer in modern fiction. In modern fiction, Lucifer continues to captivate the imagination of writers and readers alike, appearing in various genres ranging from fantasy and horror to speculative fiction and graphic novels. Neil Gaiman's The Sandman, Mike Carey's Lucifer comic series, and Glenn Duncan's I, Lucifer, are examples of contemporary works that offer fresh interpretations of Lucifer as a complex and morally ambiguous character. Symbolism and interpretations of Lucifer, light bearer and morning star. The symbolism of Lucifer as the light bringer and morning star reflects his association with enlightenment, knowledge and illumination. As the herald of dawn, Lucifer embodies the promise of new beginnings and the triumph of light over darkness. However, this luminous aspect of Lucifer is often juxtaposed with his darker attributes, symbolizing the duality of human nature and the ambiguity of moral values, rebellion and defiance. Lucifer's rebellion against divine authority symbolizes the eternal struggle for autonomy and self-determination. His defiance challenges the status quo and questions the legitimacy of hierarchical power structures. In this sense, Lucifer becomes a symbol of individualism, free will, and the refusal to conform to societal norms and expectations, enlightenment and knowledge. Lucifer's association with enlightenment and knowledge stems from his role as the bringer of light and wisdom. In some interpretations, Lucifer is portrayed as a benevolent figure who bestows knowledge upon humanity, empowering individuals to question and challenge orthodox beliefs. However, this quest for knowledge can also lead to moral ambiguity and existential angst, as exemplified by the Faustian archetype. Temptation and Evil Perhaps the most enduring symbolism associated with Lucifer is his role as the tempter and embodiment of evil. From biblical narratives to literary depictions, Lucifer is depicted as a cunning and seductive figure who entices human beings to indulge in their basest desires and forsake their moral principles. His temptation represents the perennial allure of sin and the inherent frailty of human nature. Lucifer in popular culture, Lucifer in film and television. The portrayal of Lucifer in film and television encompasses a wide spectrum of interpretations ranging from diabolical villainy to sympathetic anti-heroism. Productions such as Lucifer 2016-2021 the Devil's Advocate, 1997, and Constantine, 2005, explore themes of redemption, moral ambiguity, and existential angst through the character of Lucifer. Lucifer in music and art. Lucifer has also left an indelible mark on music and art, inspiring countless works that celebrate his rebellious spirit and iconoclastic allure. Musicians such as David Bowie, the Rolling Stones and Led Zeppelin have incorporated Luciferian imagery and themes into their music, while artists like William Blake and Gustave Doré have depicted Lucifer in their visual artworks, capturing his enigmatic persona. Lucifer in video games. Video games offer interactive narratives that allow players to embody and explore various archetypal roles, including that of Lucifer. Games such as Devil May Cry, Dark Siders, and Bayonetta feature protagonists who wield supernatural powers and grapple with themes of morality, destiny, and redemption, echoing the mythic motifs associated with Lucifer. Lucifer in Contemporary Literature Contemporary literature continues to draw upon the rich symbolism and mythology surrounding Lucifer weaving intricate narratives that explore themes of identity, morality, and existential angst. Authors such as Neil Gaiman, Philip Pullman, and Dan Simmons have crafted compelling stories that reimagine Lucifer as a complex and morally ambiguous character, challenging readers to reconsider their preconceptions and beliefs. Psychological and socio-cultural perspectives Luciferianism and Modern Occultism 
Luciferianism represents a contemporary occult tradition that venerates Lucifer as a symbol of enlightenment, individualism, and personal empowerment. Drawing upon esoteric doctrines and philosophical principles, Luciferians seek to cultivate spiritual liberation and self-realization through the pursuit of knowledge and self-mastery. Jungian Archetypes and Lucifer From a Jungian perspective, Lucifer can be viewed as an archetypal figure representing the shadow aspect of the psyche, the repressed and disavowed aspects of the self. By confronting and integrating the shadow, individuals can achieve greater self-awareness and psychological wholeness, transcending the dualities of good and evil. Lucifer and the Human Psyche The figure of Lucifer resonates deeply with the human psyche, serving as a mirror through which individuals confront their own inner conflicts and existential dilemmas. The allure of Lucifer lies in his capacity to embody the full spectrum of human experience, from the noblest aspirations to the darkest impulses, inviting individuals to explore the complexities of their own nature. Lucifer as a cultural icon. As a cultural icon, Lucifer occupies a liminal space between hero and villain, saint and sinner, light bringer and fallen angel. His enduring appeal lies in his ability to transcend conventional moral categories and embody the inherent contradictions of the human condition. Whether revered as a symbol of rebellion and enlightenment or reviled as the epitome of evil and temptation, Lucifer continues to provoke thought and inspire creativity across diverse cultural landscapes, controversies and debates. Surrounding Lucifer, Lucifer in religious discourse, the characterization of Lucifer has been a subject of theological debate and controversy within religious traditions, with interpretations ranging from literal to allegorical, from demonization to rehabilitation. Debates over the nature of Lucifer's rebellion, his relationship to Satan, and his ultimate fate continue to divide scholars and theologians across denominational lines. Moral implications of Luciferian ideals. The embrace of Luciferian ideals, such as individualism, self-reliance, and intellectual freedom, raises ethical questions regarding the nature of good and evil, virtue and vice. While some view Luciferianism as a liberating philosophy that empowers individuals to challenge oppressive authority and pursue self-actualization, others regard it as a dangerous ideology that glorifies selfishness and moral relativism. Lucifer and the problem of evil. The existence of evil in the world poses a perennial philosophical and theological dilemma known as the problem of evil. Lucifer's role as the instigator of sin and suffering raises profound questions about the nature of divine justice, human responsibility and theodicy. The attempt to reconcile the existence of evil with the existence of a benevolent and omnipotent God. Lucifer and free will. Lucifer's rebellion against divine authority epitomizes the existential tension between predestination and free will. The idea that human beings possess the capacity to choose their own destiny and shape their own fate. The story of Lucifer underscores the moral imperative of individual autonomy and the consequences of moral choice, highlighting the complexity of human agency within the cosmic order. Conclusion, Recapitulation of Findings Throughout history, Lucifer has served as a symbol of rebellion, enlightenment, temptation and existential angst, captivating the human imagination across diverse cultural contexts. From ancient mythologies to modern literature, Lucifer embodies the perennial quest for autonomy, knowledge and self-realization, challenging conventional norms and inviting individuals to confront their own inner demons. Implications for Future Research the study of Lucifer opens up a rich vein of inquiry into the intersections of religion, mythology, literature, psychology, and culture. 
Future research could delve deeper into the historical development of Luciferian symbolism, the psychological dynamics of Luciferian archetypes, and the socio-cultural impact of Luciferian ideologies on contemporary society. Final thoughts. Lucifer remains an enigmatic and enduring figure whose significance transcends religious dogma and literary conventions. Whether revered as a symbol of rebellion and intellectual freedom, or reviled as the epitome of evil and corruption, Lucifer continues to challenge and provoke humanity's perceptions of morality, identity, and destiny. In grappling with the complexities of Luciferian symbolism, we confront not only the shadowy depths of our own psyche, but also the boundless potential for transcendence and transformation. In conclusion, the figure of Lucifer stands as a testament to humanity's eternal quest for meaning, autonomy, and enlightenment, embodying the paradoxical nature of existence itself. As we navigate the labyrinthine corridors of myth and symbolism, we are reminded of the timeless truth that lies at the heart of the Luciferian archetype, the eternal struggle between darkness and light, between defiance and redemption, between the angelic and the infernal within us all.